so uh, I have a lot of these ear doctors uh, videos from ear doctors. Okay. And uh, here's another one, but I can't get any. Where do you normally get your care, sir? They gave me medicine here that it just wasn't helping my heart at all. My heart was going way up, so I had to go to Mexico to get the medicine that I need. Sure, um, where do you get, like, who, is, who, where are the doctors that follow you? I just came here. I, I've only been here about three weeks. Okay. Okay. I do have an appointment with a primary care, but I haven't seen him yet. Okay. But the, the doctor here gave me some, some, he said they didn't have this. We don't, yeah. And I, I mean, this is the, the, what he's I mean, giving me. I don't even know what that is, but I'll have to look it up, yeah. What he's giving me does not work. This works. I went to me, uh, me, to Mexico to get this medicine and other medication. I was attacked in the airport. Right, you mentioned that a few times. And so, well, the reason I mentioned it is because okay. you need to pull. Uh, they did imaging in the in the uh, 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 Miami. I cut the next plane out, and mm -hmm. they did images in, in the Miami VA. And the the nurse who wouldn't listen to anything I was saying when I talked told her about the directed energy attacks mm -hmm. that damaged my ears and my heart. She wouldn't even let me talk. She said, "You look at all that." Well, there, it's, I, apparently, it's on the system. She put, kept pointing to the to the to the computer, as if you could pull it up. Mm -hmm. But they did the images in Miami. And You're probably not going to be able to pull up the images. I may be able to see a report. So after your attack, you went to Miami, and what did they do? They did a CT, or I got out of I got out of, I got out of I got out of Panama as fast as I could. Okay. Uh, I was hit by a car in Panama. I was uh, I was. Um, Attacked in the airport in Mexico City. Okay. So I realized, you know, this, this very bad situation, and I got out of there as fast as I could. Mm -hmm. But the, the uh, uh, I didn't get any information from my MEVA. They didn't tell me anything. Mm -hmm. They had just run the images. I don't know if they had to send them to the radiology department or not. Mm -hmm. But that was four days ago. Mm -hmm. You flew back four days ago, and then you've been staying where since you got back to L.A.? You just got back to LA right now. Yeah, just just this morning. Yeah. Okay. Are you having pain anywhere? I have pain in my back, increased pain in my back and my shoulder. Okay, can you show me where? Low back. L five, L five, L five, S one, L four, L five is damaged according to the MRI. Okay. Uh, it was before the attack. This shoulder is um, dislocated. This shoulder, the right shoulder, is the torn rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can I examine you? Yeah, I'll show you the records. Uh, I don't have my glasses. Where did, when you say you were attacked, where were you? Literally attacked? standing in the airport waiting for a flight. I meant on your body. Knocked. Uh, this they targeted this shoulder. I, it was already injured, mm -hmm. uh, and so I, I, I fell to the ground because of the pain, and then okay. injured my my back worse. Okay. Any loss of control of your bowels and bladder? No. Can you see you walk? Yeah, I walk with a limp. Um, so I have a. No neurosurgeons, lots of neurosurgeons that I've seen because of my back. Okay. And orthopedic surgeons. Can you um, raise your arms up like this for me? This can't go. The, uh, the uh, orthopedic surgeon said this was paralytic shoulder injury. I can't get it up any higher than that. Okay. This I can get up, though okay. it does hurt, yeah. Sure. Sorry. I don't have my glasses. What is it that you were hoping for from the emergency department today? Um, that you could tell me what the images were uh, from the Miami uh, VA. And uh, also to, to tell you that um, there. That's this show. That's just this shoulder. Okay. I'm really busted. Yeah, this is in Spanish, so yeah. You don't speak Spanish? I speak some, but not enough 
to say that I competent to translate. Uh, okay, well, I, he translated it for me. He spoke perfect English. He was the FIFA doctor for the football team in Spain. Okay. Okay. He said the rotator's cuff uh -huh. is, is torn okay. and the tendons are torn. Okay. That's un unfortunately not something I'm going to be able to fix from the emergency department today. So, well, the, today's evaluation, as you probably may know from the, having gone to Miami, is kind of an emergent evaluation. Yeah. Can Meaning you look at the we'll, report and tell me what the report says about I'll my I'll try spine? to look it up. I can't guarantee I'll have access to it, but I can definitely try. And then it sounds like, do, would you, you like me to do an x-ray of your shoulder? I, I've been attacked with energy. I, my, I have severe acoustic trauma in both ears. When, by multiple, when were you attacked with the energy? I was repeatedly attacked. At the airport? No, no, no. I've been, this, I, was, this was before. Yeah, this has been, this was this is going on for years. Hold yeah, on, but I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to get to the bottom of that today. This is something you need to follow with your primary care doctor. I apologize. But, but today's care is emergency based care only. So, for kind of like the acute thing with you said, for an assault, I'm definitely happy to evaluate you and make sure you're okay. In terms of the energy attack that's been going on for years, that's something that you're going to need to follow with your primary care doctor once you establish care. I'm happy to look inside your ears if you'd like. There's nothing uh, you can do. Uh, I, I need a, um, the doctor, doctor said that I need a brain scan because of the damage to my inner okay. areas of the cochlea. Okay. The doctor said the cochlea is damaged. Okay. The hair fibers in the cochlea are damaged. Sure. Yeah, I agree that's not something we're going to get to the bottom of today. <sighs> so can you give me medicine to help protect my heart? So what kind of, what a heart condition do you have? Uh, I have to take beta blockers. My heart is damaged from the energy attacks. Okay. All right. And uh, I just don't have. I, you came in so fast. I didn't get. It, I didn't get it. That's uh, okay. Why don't you go ahead and take a look? Any other medications that you are taking? Uh. No. Uh, so where do you stay? Do you have a place that you live? Or I you stay here on on, on the uh, on the camp. campus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's the other. Here's another ear doctor. There, there's, there's, there's one in Hong Kong. There's one in Nicaragua. There's one in Ecuador. They're all over. I have many. Yeah, it's like I said. It's going to be really hard. The ear job with the pressure of the ear. ear. It's, it's today. It's right now. Right. So your immediate ear is working fine. Okay. All so right. the eardrum is working fine. The pressure in the middle ear is fine. Uh -huh. The little bones are working fine. Okay. The right and the left. Okay. So this is what's showing. So if I do the test. I know there is no middle ear problem. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the okay. other is? The other is called the autoacoustic emission. Uh -huh. And this is the one that shows the outer hair cell damage in the high frequency at four and 6,000 hertz. Okay. okay. So there the 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 yeah, From the hair cells, yeah. So people can get deafness from that. Um, so I apologize that you know, you're going through so much. Well, no, I mean, it's what, it's what happens when you record the FBI. Yeah. Your life is turned upside down. Yeah. You know, I, that happened in 2008, and my life has been turned upside down. So, um, uh, Do you have thoughts of wanting to hurt yourself or anyone else? No, no. Do you ever hear voices that other people no, don't hear? No, no. Okay. All right, let me just try to look into some of the stuff that we talked about. Can, can you, off. can you? I can't prescribe that medicine. Well, can you tell me what it is in English? Nibilol, but it, it's probably not a medicine that we have. It's probably a type of beta blocker, but I'm going to look it up. Because, because the know. one they were giving me was not working, and I had to turn to go to Mexico to get this. Yeah. You so know, that's something that you're going to have to address again with your primary care doctor. This is unfortunately, like I said, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sounding a little bit repetitive, but this is emergency basis care. So kind of reestablishing and getting all of that stuff situated and started, again, will be through your primary care doctor. Can you tell me what the report says in Miami? Yeah, so I answered that question multiple times. Do you remember what I said? You could look it up. That's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, nobody told me anything. So. 